technologies, whether it's uh, fuel efficiency or crash avoidance or lightweight materials or what have you, this is really a huge magnet and it is showing up in terms of jobs. And that, again, isn't assembly, although we're doing better there too with manufacturing, but it is kind of a real, real important statement about uh, uh, the future. So we're kind of doing well in that area. Uh, particularly, but as I was saying, on the seniority side, you still have John Dingle, you got John Conyers. On the House side, we've got my brother, who's uh, right. now the uh, ranking Democrat on the Ways and Means Committee. Uh, so uh, on the seniority piece, we're doing well. In terms of numbers, we lost one. Okay, does, does that number make a difference, Hanson Clark? Traditionally, it would, but practically it won't. And here's why, and this is the message I wanted to bring out here today is that Detroit is extraordinarily important, not only to this region, and we understand that, when Detroit is perceived as being dangerous, well, that really deters investment from moving into the suburbs, such as Oakland County. But also, too, Detroit is important to our national economy. Now, even though we've gone through some tough times, we still have those assets that have made this city and this region the arsenal of democracy in the past. So what I do is that I leverage that, and I show to Congress how rebuilding this city and our region can actually help create jobs throughout the country. Many times, I find support for investing in Detroit, investing in this region, I find support in Congress from outside of Michigan, and here's why. Because many times here in the metropolitan area, there's still a concern that support being viewed as supporting Detroit as a politician, especially from the suburbs, could be politically controversial. But when I go and talk to a leader in Congress from Ohio, from California, they understand the value of investing in this city, uh, not only as a city, but also as a brand. Detroit is still a very powerful brand. It's the brand, yes, for the auto industry, for U.S. manufacturing, but it's also the symbol for the economic strength of our economy. My point is this. Governor Snyder says that now our state can be viewed as the comeback state. It can, but it can only be fully viewed that way once Detroit is viewed as being the comeback city. So that Detroit, when it does come back, it'll be a clear signal nationally and globally that our country's economy has now come back. Uh, well, since